everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Athena. I put out videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. Today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup collection video. Make I call it makeup collection video, makeup. Okay, you get it. I'm hot. Okay, so the first thing on here is just very simple diffuser. I got this from Sage. They don't carry this particular they don't carry this particular one anymore, but I think that they have something similar to it. First drawer, I'm sorry, I'm going to be that bitch. We're not going to go in here. It's a mess. Um, yeah. Skip. The second drawer here, this one is, I'm sorry, if you can hear any crunching and munching, my dog has a toy. Anywho, this one is super freaking full. I've already gone through it and, you know, taken the things out that are expired or old or I no longer use or things like that. But I'm a cosmetician, so I A, get a lot of free makeup and B, buy a lot of makeup. So yes, here we go. Um, front drawer right here is primers and this one over here. So I have the Smashbox Pore Minimizing. This one is my current favorite, has been for a few months, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion. Clarins SOS Booster Radiance. This one was their original original. Um, their pink one was their old pink formula. The peach one was their old champagne formula and they also came out with three new colors. That one's not bad though. I have my Benefit Stay Flawless. Love that. That one's a nice one for uh, long wear. I have my Smashbox Photo Finish in Light. This one is nice for controlling oil. I have my Too Faced Hangover RX. This one is really nice. Smells really great. Really nourishes. I really like it for winter time. Another one super, super similar to Too Faced is the Corez Greek Yogurt. This one is actually a primer and moisturizer in one, kind of similar to the new Smashbox one. I personally prefer this one a lot better just because it actually feels like something. It gets tacky when it dries down and it also really reminds me of the Too Faced. So I will no longer be purchasing the Too Faced just because I get the Cora's at a discount. I also have the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This one's not bad. Um, I definitely have used it. It's not my favorite. It is kind of similar to the Optical Illusion, but not really. The Clarence one like this is a lot better. I have the Dior Glow Maximizer. Um, do they carry this anymore? They might not. I'm actually not sure. I also have a little one of the Smashbox Light. I have two little The Professionals. Uh, this one also kind of reminds me of the Optical Illusion, but they are two different textures. I have the original Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one is our number one seller. It's okay, it's not my personal favorite. If you do put on too much, I do feel like your makeup can get quite slick. And then lastly, I just have two from Cover Effects. I have the mattifying one, which is the one that I've used the most of, and then the calming one. I have have never noticed anything with the calming one, and I don't find that the mattifying one is that matte. My very last one is, oh god, I almost dropped it, <laughs> is the Smashbox photo finish primer oil. This one is really great for mature skin, someone who is dry, dehydrated, needs radiance. This has lots of vitamins and minerals in it, so if you feel like it smells off, it's probably gone bad and you need to throw it out and get yourself a new one. I try to organize it from like the colors that I'm using right now, so either like summer, winter, winter, summer, or just ones that I'm going to more. Um, which seems to be a lot. I change my foundation all the time just because, again, I do work in cosmetics. I have a ton of makeup, so I just like to keep the rotation going, you know? First, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory, cruelty free. The price was good, but I don't feel like it's worth the hype. I don't know. It's a good foundation. 
it's not the worst one, it's not the best one, but it's just like I, I don't know. I have the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Aqua Nude in 2N. Not my color, I got it as gratis though, so you know, can't complain. This one is a light coverage. It's okay, not my favorite, but you know, free, so what have you. I have the Lancome Tante Idol Ultra Wear. This one is in 210 Neutral. I am 100% the 140 Neutral. I think this one is a little bit dark, but that's okay. This one, I do feel like I do get a little bit of smile line creasing with this one, but overall, the color range is great. The wear is nice. It does also have an SPF 15. The packaging is cute, you know. I have the Milani Concealum Perfect in 00B. I actually have two of this color. And then I also have another one right here, which is very used. This one is the 01 Vanilla. This one was the original one. This one was the one that I was using all the time. But then I realized that it was too dark. They came out with new colors. You know how it goes. I also have the Lancome Tante Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. Also in 210. Not my perfect shade. They don't have a ton of colors in this. It's kind of like a soft matte finish. I find it to be like a medium coverage, but I guess on the light side, this is the one that I am wearing today, if you're curious. This isn't a foundation, but it's the Pro Mixer by NYX. I also have one, two, three of the Sephora airbrush foundation fair light and medium i have the clarin everlasting foundation in 105 nude it is a nice foundation i like the coverage the lasting is decent i have tried better foundations it has a great scent but i do feel like it doesn't last all day and i I think it breaks me out sometimes. I have the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation. This color is in 1N. They do have 15 colors, I believe. They're not really any rich tones. Has an SPF 20. This is a really nice foundation. This is one of my favorites as of right now. I also have the Lee Swatier Tons of Velour Velvet Matte Foundation, oil free. This one is in the color ivory. It's definitely a little yellow, a little dark, but I make it work, girl. Actually, has great coverage and great lasting power. I have two of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one is basically empty. This one is in one W one Bone. This one is in one N one Ivory nude i purchased this one first to realize it was a little bit too yellow then i went to this one great foundation staple always nice to have i have two air flash foundations i have 201 and 205 the coverage is great the finish is great it's just amazing colors are not good let me emphasize this but they did come out with several new colors now they do have 18 shades. Still not nearly as much as some other brands, but I think it will be a lot better. I also have the full size Too Faced Born This Way foundation in porcelain. The foundation is really nice. The colors are, again, terrible and awful. This is so freaking dark. It is really hard to make this work. And yes, I have my, my Pro Mixer, but when I'm spending $50, it better match me. I shouldn't have to mix anything with it. Okay, I also have the Physician's Formula Nude Wear Touch of Glow Foundation. This is super dark. This color is in Fair Porcelain. I have days where I am like a full coverage bitch or a no makeup makeup bitch. So yeah, this was just one of those ones where I was like, I want fast, easy, Bam, 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 you know? I also have the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter in 150 buff. I was going to do a first impressions on this, but unfortunately I used it. It was okay. It wasn't anything special. The NYX HD Foundation in nude. Um, the color was too light, I remember. The foundation was fine again 
not awful, but nowhere near good. I have the Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo SPF 25. This one is in 10 n cream this is supposedly a medium coverage foundation this gives a ton of coverage it's a really good foundation lasts a long time and then i also have the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation in the color ivory i used this for the first time many many moons ago as a sample in sephora probably in 2012 loved it and then i was like i need to actually buy this not in love with it and then just kind of on the side here i just have just like some samples moving on to the third drawer down this one is super packed full i have a little space here for powder and i also have one more over here because it doesn't fit over here and then the rest of these guys are just blushes so I'm a blush hoe. I love blush. Back in this corner from the Too Faced Carousel, Who's Your Poppy Blush, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and then Luminous Peach and Sun Bunny in Dark. And then this powder that was in the corner over here is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. This one is in the color Cool Beige. They do have a white one. I don't really like white ones, to be honest with you. The only one that I like is the Laura Mercier, but I don't find that one to be true white anyways. I just feel like the white ones just have a white cast, even though that they said that they're translucent. So, let's just go into the powders. Um, so just over here, I have the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin in 10 Porcelain. I also have the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Light 10. This one I only have a little bit left. It's a good powder for the drugstore. You can definitely always find on sale as well. I also have the color 20 light medium. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. This one is nice for a fair skin with a little bit of a yellow undertone. I don't use these as a highlighter. They are a powder for your face. So I will still use a regular setting powder, but I'll just dust this along the top just to give the entire face a nice glow i have the rimmel stay matte you know the old g this is in transparent Too faced peach perfect this one's not bad this one is the one that i'm wearing today the scent is lovely but the scent is also a little overpowering when you do dip your brush in there particles do fly up and you do get it in your mouth when it actually does taste like peach yes it's a little delicious but also a little disgusting i don't know <laughs> i also have just a little hourglass ambient lighting powder this one is basically done this one i like a little bit more for when i have more color and this one is luminous light just for touch-ups and my purse which i can't get out is the l'oreal true match super blendable powder in w2 i do find it to be an okay color sometimes i actually find it to be a little bit dark which is not even that dark so i might just go to the w1 but it is really nice basic every day i do feel like i've like i can already see the imprint of the pan though um i didn't feel like there was very much in here okay and then i also have the benefit hello flawless this one is in the color Petal. This is a powder foundation, so sometimes when I am using a lighter coverage foundation and I want a little extra coverage, I will go for something like this. The e.l.f. Contouring Blush Bronzing Palette. I have Remmel, the Trio. This one is actually quite nice. I have one of my old favorites, the CoverGirl True Plum. I have Lee Swatier. I have MAC, Tarte. Benefit Bourgeois. And then back over here, I have NYX, Milani. This one's Victoria's Secret. Physician's Formula. More Lee Swatier. More MAC. Lancome. More MAC. These four Maybelline. These three are Milani. This one is Lee Swatier Limited Edition. This one is NYX. And then way in the back over here, I actually just have some extra powders. 
So I just have an extra better skin. And then I also have an extra of this one. Okay, moving on to the fourth drawer. This one is just highlighters. I have some creams over here. I have High Beam, Sunbeam. I have the L'Oreal Lumi Armor in 508. I also have 507. These are okay. They are very pigmented, but you absolutely need to shake them or they do separate. There's like a lot of oil in them at the top. I don't even know if you can see that, but there's just some oil in there where you just really got to shake it up. I have Annabelle, ColourPop. This is also ColourPop, the loose one. First drawer, I have some Jeffree Star. I have Peach Goddess, Ice Cold. I have Elf. I have Becca in Vanilla Quartz, Moonstone, Rose Gold. I have Allure Mercier in highlight number one. I have a Physician's Formula. This is actually quite pigmented. Like, damn. The first Solly Jelly Beam Highlighter. I don't like this. This was in my not-so-favorites for the month of February and March. I just can't get it to work. I even bought oil to use with it. It just sets so fast. So these three are Physician's Formula. I have Ofra. I have the Master Chrome by Maybelline. I have the other one in the Rose Gold. And I also have the Holographic one right here. Those should all be together. I have Becca Opal and then Champagne Pop. I have MAC Soft and Gentle. I have Dior in number two. I also have... I also have Dior in number one. This one is the one that I've used the most. This one was their first one. I also have the Smashbox highlighting stick and Hollywood and Highlight. That should be with the creams. Okay, I also have two Lancome. These are actually so freaking beautiful. This one is the Shimmering Buff in number one. I also have Sparkling Peach or Petch or Peach, whatever, in number five. I love to mix these two together. I also have the MAC Hyper Real Glow. This one is the pinky one. These two, again, they're in the wrong spot. These are the Small Cover Effects Custom Drop Enhancers in Celestial and Moonlight. I have the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in Ivory. This is literally blinding. It's amazing. It's super messy, but it's amazing. I have two Fenty. This one is the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. This one is the one that I've used the most. And then this one is the Mean Money and Hustla Baby. I find the packaging a little hard to open when you got nails, okay? Like it's kind of a problem. Packaging, I love. I've used this one like once. The Amarese, I have this one, I got that from BoxyCharm, I have the Chris and Leon Urban Decay, I have Milani, I have Sleek, and then I also have Lee Swatier. This little cutie patootie is the newest addition to my collection. This is a limited edition Estee Lauder from their summer. Super nice. Okay, in the next drawer, I have some of my lips. This is not all of my lips. I have some displayed as well. In this one, I have like lip treatments, lip balms, lip scrubs. I have lip liners in here. In here is supposed to be just lip glosses, but the things have just gotten mixed up. I have Marc Jacobs, uh, NYX, L'Oreal, Milani, Tarte, Remmel, Sephora brand. Um, I have some ColourPop, Guerlain. I have another little container in here that I just have extra things of. Okay, in this drawer, all of this front area is just single eyeshadows. I have loose ones, Nude by Nature. I have Dior. I have creams from Gosh. I have the Swatier Makeup Forever. I have a fake eyelash. <laughs> I have NYX Loose Pigments. 
I have Smashbox singles. I have new things that I haven't even opened yet. This one is Annabelle. I have Stila. And here is just mascara. Smashbox fan out. Oh, look, another random eyelash. I have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher in Waterproof. I love that as a second mascara. I have the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. That one's okay. I am wearing these two today. It's all right. I don't find it to be super waterproof, but it's not bad. I have the Lash Paradise, also in waterproof. Again, it's okay. I do find that it can get a little clumpy. I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. This one is the plastic brush, and this one is also in waterproof. It's okay. I don't think I love the brush. Okay, I also have the Lise Watier 24 Hour Glam. I believe this one is in a waterproof because I think it only comes in a waterproof. It's a plastic brush. It is, I guess, a little bit nicer for more... Um, lengthening. I have the Christian Dior over curl. That one's in the regular formula, but I do really like this mascara. This one is probably my favorite of the Dior ones that I've tried. I also have the regular Dior in Dior Show. I have the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. I do really like this one. Again, in waterproof. I have the NYX Dull Eye Mascara. Honestly, this can just go to the bin because it's awful and I hate it. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. The packaging is cute. The brush is weird. I don't know. Like, it's just so freaking long and just does not grab onto lashes. It is awful. It does literally nothing. I got this as gratis and all of my coworkers and myself hate it. Lastly, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex. In the back over here, I just have eye primers. I have Glitter Glue by NYX. I have Glitter Glue by Too Faced. I have Pot Primer by Annabelle. I have the Beach Cosmetics one. I have Primer Potion in Eden and Sin. I have Essence. I have Elf Duo Lash Glue. This is the NYX Vivid Brights, Vivid Fire. I got that just to be fun, maybe do a look with it. I have the Art Deco Glitter Liner. I have the Maybelline Gel. I have Guerlain. I have literally way too many Stila's. One, two, three, three from Stila. I just got them for free, so I was like, okay, sure. I have the brand new Smashbox one. I haven't tried it yet just because I don't really wear eyeliner that much. I have Urban Decay. I have my L'Oreal Silica Seam. Oh, I have another Stila. There's that mix four. I have NYX. I have lashes over here. Over in this corner, I just have palettes that are too big to like sit up this way in the drawer. They're just too tall. I have Violet Voss. I have BH, I have the Sephora Pro, I have the Urban Decay Metals, I have Morphe, and then kind of like in this like random corner, I have the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, I have the NYX, I have a Dior Singing Baba Bobber, and then I also have the Patrick Star, the Gold Getter. Literally haven't even used it. It's still in the packaging. In this little container, I just have concealers. I have Urban Decay All Nighter. I have the NYX. I have Maybelline, Maybelline, NYX, Smashbox, Maybelline, Sephora, Cover Effects. Over here, I have brows. I have the Precisely My Brow. I benefit. I have the goof proof. I have one, two Dior's. I have NYX, Anastasia, L'Oreal, NYX, Annabelle. I have the Give Me Brow. I have gels, pencils, pomades. You know, I have it all. In here, I have some contouring and bronzing products. I have the cream by Stila. I have some Physicians Formula, I have NYC, Dior, Smashbox, Colourpop, Benefit. I'm just holding it, so bear with me. 
So here are a lot of my palettes. This is what I mean by like standing them up like this. I have all of the Urban Decays. I have the original two, three, Smoky and the Heat. I have the Too Faced Regular, the Semi Sweet and the Sweet Peach. I have the Lorac three, the Lorac Original. I have the Gold and then the Original um, Lorac. I have the Anastasia, what is this called? The Soft, Soft Glam. This is a NARS face palette. It has highlighters and contour in it. In Bloom, I have the Toasted, again still in the packaging. I have NYX. I have Bare Minerals, Lancome Glow For It palette. This was limited edition. I have this CoverGirl one. Again, I want to do a video on that. I have the Tarte Mermaidy one. In this Z palette, I just have a discontinued Lancome ColourPop. Give it to me straight. I have more NARS. I have the Sweet Peach. Um, this one came in a boxy charm. I have two Kylie ones. I have two Stila ones. I have this other smaller Stila one that also has like cheek stuff in it. These three are, if I can get them out, that would be great. Hard NYX, I have the Brights. I have the Ultimate. And then I also have the Warm. I have Urban Decay in this one. I have NYX. I have two Maybelline ones here, and then I have Huda Beauty. In the last drawer, and here I have the TARDIS Pro Glow. I have all three of the glow kits by Anastasia. I have the Sephora Illuminating Palette. I have the blush one. I have this, um, what is this called? This contouring palette. I have the Pure Highlighting Palette. I have the Benefit Chicathon. I have the Anastasia Glow. I have the Violet Voss. I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks, the Jaclyn Hill, NYX. In those, I have um, some eyeshadows, a blush, and three highlighters. So again, it's a little red. Kat Von D, Shade and Light Refill. And then lastly, I have the Lancome um, Contouring Palette. Okay, so what is this hair? That is everything. It's a lot. Like this video if you enjoyed, and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles! Should this be my new buy? I feel like yes.